In this problem, we're asked to solve a given system of equations by graphing. Now, just a word of caution. If you're specifically asked to solve a system by graphing, then obviously solve by graphing. And chances are the solution, if there is one, it, 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 they might be parallel, so there might not be any intersection, or they might be the same, si same line, so we end up with infinitely many solutions. But if they intersect, and we're told to solve the system by graphing, chances are they intersect at whole number coordinates. In other words, x will be an integer and y will be an integer. Now that said, if you're told simply just solve the system, I would only use graphing as a method to check. And the reason for that is because, let's say it looks like the solution is 3, 1. Let's say we have, you know, a line here and a line here. Well, this might be, this point might not be, where they intersect might not be 3, 1. It might be, you know, 2.999 and 0 0.999. And the only way to do, to verify that, what the solution is, is to solve the system of equations algebraically, which we will look at later on. Right now, we're looking at solving the system by graphing. We're told to solve by graphing, and therefore, there's a good chance... Uh, I can almost guarantee that the solution is going to be a whole uh, a set of whole number coordinates. So they're going to intersect, uh, you know, at whole number coordinate intersection. So with this, you have an option of with each equation. We we have to graph each equation in the system, but we have options as to how to graph it. We can use the methods that we learned before, either graph by plotting points, graph by uh, intercepts, or we can graph by putting it in slope intercept form and there are various uh, with those various methods depending on how the equation is given there's one that's easier than the other my personal preference is that I always put it in slope intercept form uh, with with slope intercept form uh, it, it encompasses the other two two ways uh, of graphing there's a little bit more chance of error because we're solving for something but it's not guaranteed uh, that we would get the correct solution with any method. That's just my personal preference. But again, you can use whatever method that you like in, in order to graph the equation. So our first equation we'll look at in our system is x minus 3y equals negative 3. Uh, through your lesson, you would be told to either graph this using intercepts or graph this using uh, points, plotting, plotting three point, points and then connecting those points to form the line. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to put this into slope intercept form. So we subtract x from both sides, we get negative 3y equals negative x minus 3, divide both sides by negative 3, and we get y equals 1 third x plus 1. So with this we know that m our slope equals one-third, and our y-intercept is zero, one. So I'm going to go to our y-intercept, zero, one. I'm going to plot a point there. Now, slope of one-third means for every one I go up, rise over run. For every one I go up, I go three to the right. So up one, three to the right up one three to the right and since we're we can get an intercept here as well let's go three back and one down and then we can verify that that these points are, are correct if we want to by plugging them into the equation so then again so again that is y equals 1 third x plus 1 or x minus 3y equals negative 3. So let's look at our other equation. I'm going to use a different color so we can differentiate between the, the, the two. And actually I'll go ahead and use one we've used before. But we have x plus y equals 5. So if we subtract x from both sides, we get y equals negative x plus 5. So that gives us a slope of negative 1, or negative 1 over 1, 
or 1 over negative 1 for that matter. It will result in the same, the same line. And our y-intercept is 0, 5. And again, that's because with y equals mx plus b, m is our slope. b is our y-intercept. So I go to the point 0, 5. And with a slope of negative 1, it's down 1 and right 1. So down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. And then again, we connect the dots to form our line. And again, that's the graph for the line y equals negative x plus 5, which is equivalent to x plus y equals 5, one of the equations in our system of equations. So here we've graphed the system of equations by graphing each line that's in the equation, and it appears that they intersect at 3, 2. So our solution, just by graphing, is 3, 2. Now let's check and make sure that that is a solution to both. So in our first equation, so this is our check, we want to know does x minus 3y, so 0, no 3, minus 3 times 2, does that equal negative 3? So x minus 3y equals negative 3, that much we know. So does 0, I don't know why I keep saying 0, does 3 minus 3 times 2 equal negative 3? So that's 3 minus 6, does that equal negative 3? And that is true, that does yield negative 3 equals negative 3. So it satisfies our first equation. Now what about our second equation, x plus y equals 5. So write out x plus y equals 5. Substitute 3 for x, 2 for y. We want to know, does that equal 5? And yes, 5 equals 5. So our solution checks. So the solution to our system of equations, x minus 3y equals negative 3 and x plus y equals 5, is the point 3, 2. That's where the two equations intersect in our system of equations.